how it's made. Leaded glass windows with middle field glass. Have you ever wondered how a leaded glass window is made? Today we'll take you through the entire process, from placing your order to the completed product installed in your home. You can choose to select your design, either by picking one of our hundreds of standard designs on our website, or sending us a photograph of what you want. Or, as seen here, you can send us a simple drawing, and we can take that and turn it into a design. No matter what you choose, we will always furnish an order confirmation, just so that you can be sure that you're getting exactly what you want. All of our glass is cut with a state-of-the-art CNC cutting machine. This ensures accuracy for a high-precision finished product. Glass is scored with a carbide wheel, similar to a hand glass cutter. This cutter also releases oil as it cuts, ensuring a smooth, even cut. Now that the glass is scored, it's ready for breakout. The glass is flipped over, and a thumbing technique is used to pop the pieces of glass apart. Once the glass is all apart, each piece is ready to be beveled and placed into a leaded insert. Beveling is done in a series of four wheels. The first diamond wheel roughs in the bevel. This is where the majority of the bevel takes shape. There is a lot of hand-eye coordination and experience required to make a high-quality bevel. Our diamond grinding wheel is water-cooled, meaning the glass needs to be wiped down every now and then so that we can see that everything is going perfectly. You can already see the facets taking shape on this piece of glass. This second wheel is a smoother diamond wheel, making your bevel easier to polish. We choose to use thick glass as it gives us a nice, steep bevel. A steeper bevel means better reflections, like fine cut crystal. You can already see how much easier it is to see through this glass compared to the rougher brine that we had on it previously. The third wheel begins the polishing process. This wheel is made of cork, and like the diamond wheels, is cooled with water. You'll notice that even after this polishing step, the glass is still a little bit hazy, so we'll still need one more polishing step. The final step in beveling glass is a fine polish. This wheel is made of felt, and the polishing compound used is cerium oxide. This ensures a perfect shine and perfect clarity. Once buffed and polished, these bevels will shine, producing rainbow refractions, like a prism. After being wiped down, you can see just how crystal clear this bevel is. And now, we start the making of our leaded window with parts being assembled. First thing to do is pre-cut the metal. Our H lead is cut on a chop saw to length for a precision fit. Building a leaded window is done by working from one corner out. You start by laying out all of your pieces of metal and glass. Press in your glass, and then another piece of metal, and continue outward. This particular metal we use has foam in it to keep the glass from rattling. The metal we use is the same kind of metal they used 500 years ago. Pure lead, and is meant to be used as a soft cushion for the glass as not to crack it. Lead is a very soft metal, and can easily be bent by hand to the precise curve of each piece of glass. see here that each piece of lead is measured, cut, and marked by hand, just to make sure that everything is perfect.
now that everything is in place, we need to make sure everything stays in place while we solder it together. Small wood stopping blocks are used to hold the lead in place, anywhere that it could bow out and cause warping in the window. It is important here to measure again, just to make sure that nothing has changed size and that it is ensured to fit. To solder lead, like soldering copper and plumbing, you apply a flux and you are ready to solder. We prefer to use a 60-40 solder. Our joints are soldered so they are not globby. They are smooth and uniform in size, so they all match. Part of our reason for choosing lead for our metal, aside from its long history and being used for window making, is that it is incredibly easy to solder. And as quickly as it goes on, the solder is cooled and ready to be flipped over so we can solder the other side as well. After the window is soldered, we then neutralize and flush the flux off the insert. Now our window is ready for metal finishing. Lead is a non-ferrous metal, and if left in the elements, would oxidize or rust in time, turning it white or hazy looking. So to properly finish a leaded glass window, you must first strip the metal with steel wool. Patina is a copper sulfite based acid. It acts as a surface protectant for the lead. It is similar to the bluing on a gun barrel, which protects it from rusting and the elements. The same process was done 500 years ago as well. Nothing has changed. With the proper treatment, this window will have at least a 2 to 300 year outdoor durability. After the patina, we apply a 100% pure carnauba wax to all of our inserts, giving them a beautiful finish and sparkle. And the wax also inhibits dust and dirt buildup. After one final buffing and polishing, just to make sure everything is nice and sparkly, it is ready to be moved over and put into its frame. To properly install glass, we use an RTV type silicone. Shown here, we are wet setting the leaded beveled window. Not only does RTV silicone keep your glass securely in place, it also keeps it from rattling around. We choose to use this instead of brackets, as brackets are more prone to cracking your glass. Once it's set in the silicone and spaced out, we are now able to run a back bead. Notice the extra wide border metal. 
We have built this out so the proper amount of beveling shows in the front, as the wood door has a very wide route out. We have a multitude of different border metal options to accommodate any door. After silicon is done, finger smooth and let the door sit for at least 24 hours to set properly. Never use just any regular silicone, as this is going to have a bad reaction with the metal. Now that the silicone is smoothed, you can peel off the tape protecting the back of the frame. You will want to do this before the silicone is dry, so the tape doesn't become stuck to the frame or the glass. Allow it to sit for 24 hours, and you can now see what it looks like completely finished. And here is our finished leaded glass window. Installed as a pair, these panels will look perfect for years to come. Hey, this has been Jared at Middlefield Glass. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. We'll be happy to answer anything about our glass. Be sure to check out our other how-to videos, and subscribe if you want to see more from us. Links to our social media are in the description. Thanks again!